Coming soon to a business school near you. Hey. Hey. Now look, I know you both just graduated from Stanford and HBS, but you still are unemployed. You've got one month to get a job or you are cut off. Come on, Dad! Hey, are you awake? Yeah. Did tell my idea for a new startup app, Incubator Think Tank? Yeah, even my butler would invest in that. Ugh. I hate your guts. Hey, honey. Looks like they're actually starting to get along. What's your favorite kind of caviar? Beluga. If you were a chick and could sleep with one dude, who would it be? Me. Did we just become best friends? Yeah. What I want. I'm not going to tell you idiots again to go find a job. What did you like least about your last job? Uh, the working part? How would you describe yourself in one word? Born for greatness. And what is your greatest weakness? Uh, next question, please. And it says here on your res- Look, how much longer is this going to take? Yeah, I'm getting hungry. Dad, you've got to hear a new business idea. It's like Zipcar, but for helicopters. Look. Why don't I just give you access to your trust fund money now and you get the hell out of my house? Works for us! Over the years, Bill has achieved everything he had imagined. He graduated from MIT. He won Intel's Employee of the Month. He took first prize at Comic-Con. But there's one thing Bill has yet to achieve. So answer this question. Are you a virgin? Well, technically speaking, yes. Me too! But don't worry, I know three guys who graduated from here last year, and one of them saw who? A brat! Yeah. All you gotta do is tie this up if you wanna be a real slow man. Uh, I'm not too sure about this. Isaac Newton! Left shark from the Super Bowl! It's not alright. Three! Ah! Ah! From the producers of Four Years Without Getting Laid at Carnegie Mellon. Now, let me tell you how to talk to women. What am I supposed to tell them? Nothing. You just ask them a lot of questions. So to answer this question, what data do you need? What do you need? Are you coming on to me? This is an interview. Comes business school like you've never seen it before. The 30-year-old virgin, two years at Sloan. I just want to apologize to my mom and to my dad to my one other friend. It was my decision. I'm scared. I'm so scared. I'm gonna tell my mom the good news. I got into Booth. Oh, that's great. Like what kind of Booth? Like at Applebee's? No, mom, the business school in Chicago. Oh, you mean Kellogg. This is an open book exam. You have nine hours and you'll read every minute. You're not allowed a bathroom break. Keep your bedpan under your seat. I need to get out of here. I, I need to go. I need to leave. I'm hungry. I don't have a job. I'm cold. I'm so f***ing cold. Millions of tuition dollars have been spent. Yet no happy Booth students have ever been found. This summer, we invite you to come on an adventure. I got a golden ticket! To the magical world of Wharton. Welcome to my Provident Factory new MBAs. I'm Joseph Wharton. Please let me introduce you to our welcome committee, our Neon Peons. Neon Peon, beautiful boots, looking pretty is all that we do. And the time value of candy means that 10 jelly beans today is 11 tomorrow. 
A world where dreams become reality. And reality becomes a dream. This August, 855 MBAs will go on the journey of a lifetime. Here's my ticket. I'm so excited to start here at Wharton. Well, this won't get you in here, you little silly willy, but nice try. What about my hopes and my dreams? Well, I'm sure CBS would love to have you. Correction. 854 MBAs will go on the journey of a lifetime. Joseph Wharton and the Profit Factory.